Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's Pickle Lady. Remember, this month you still have a chance to win a shredder. All you have to do is watch the video, be a subscriber, and comment. And uh, now we're gonna do the video on pork quesantes. Quesantes means um, peas in Spanish. So I have a pot here, I'm heating it up, and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of oil. Swish it around. And then I'm gonna saute one onion that's sliced and eight cloves of garlic or two tablespoons of garlic. So we do the onions first because the garlic will burn if you put it first. Very simple recipe, but very popular. Sometimes they call it pork and peas, but it's well known as pork quesantes. In Hawaii, this is a favorite. Okay, so we're just gonna saute the onions. And then it, as soon as it gets a little brown, then I'll add the garlic. And this dish will take you under an hour to make from start to finish. So quick on a cold day or any kind of time you want to cook something pretty fast. Now I'm adding the garlic. Okay. Stir that up real good. Now I put the garlic in but keep on stirring. And you don't want to cook it too long because garlic gets bitter as it blackens and burns. Okay, now we're ready to add the pork. This is three pounds of pork that I cubed up, maybe one inch cubes. Or you can slice it any way you want. Okay, just put it in. And then I'm going to cook it until it uh, is no longer pink. So the meat is no longer pink, so it's ready for the next ingredients. Next, the bell peppers. I cut one red bell pepper to give it nice color. Put that in. You're just gonna add the rest of the stuff. Two bay leaves, about half a cup of chopped pimentos. And actually pimentos is the same as red bell peppers. but. You can buy it in the bottle, but in this case, I roasted it and took out the seeds and cut it up. It's much cheaper if you make it yourself. Then I'm going to add in a 14 and a half ounce of diced tomatoes. Some people even put fresh tomatoes, so whatever you have. And then one can, eight ounce of tomato sauce. And that's the ingredients. Very simple. I'm going to mix up all the ingredients. And when it's mixed, I let it come to a boil. Simmer it for 45 minutes. See how simple it is? It is done now. It's been about 40 minutes. So you can test it between 30 to 40 to 45 minutes but everything is cooked and it looks really good. But I did forget to tell you to put one cup of chicken stock. And so I added that because otherwise it was a little dry. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of rock salt and you can put as much as you like, but I don't like stuff too salty. And then I'll just sprinkle in some black pepper, maybe about half a teaspoon or so. I'm also adding one pound of frozen peas. You can use canned peas, but I think the frozen peas will stand up better. And after I mix it all up, you just let it cook for another five minutes and it's done. Very colorful. Okay, it's all finished. Now I'm gonna eat it with some rice. You can, it's really good with rice. But if you ran out of rice, just look for bread or anything else that you want or just eat it plain. 
So I'm not going to eat too much. Just want to taste it. Okay. Look how pretty it looks. Your friends would be so impressed if you made this. And I, I know they'll ask for more or make it again. <laughs> okay. Let's taste it now. So pimentos and red bell peppers. It's very hot. Mm. It's so good. I gotta have one more bite. <laughs> really juicy and moist, and the meat is soft. Mm. You gotta try and make it. So remember, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't and comment. And if you have any requests, let me know. So remember, you still can be in on the drawing. Just make sure you're a subscriber and comment on the video. So thank you for watching. Mahalo.